thank you. And the Kent County prosecutor announced the charge against Sher yesterday. That's more than two months after the shooting death of Patrick Loyola following that traffic stop. Many in the community sharing their reactions to those charges, including two people we spoke with last month about their experience with policing in Grand Rapids. The wait. It's definitely been nerve wracking. The community was definitely, definitely hurting. Now over. Thursday, Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker announced he was charging Grand Rapids Police Officer Christopher Schur with one count of second degree murder for the shooting death of Patrick Leoya on April 4th. Today, he was arraigned on those charges. We were shocked, you know. Onesimus Pee Wee is a member of the Grand Rapids NAACP Youth Council. We spoke with him last month about the incident. It's just tiring because the Grand Rapids Police Department, this isn't like their first, you know, um, tragic incident that's happened here. Since then, numerous protests and conversations on police relations have continued in the community. Do you think um, these charges would have happened without that pressure from the public? Absolutely not. I don't think so, honestly, because we were heard, we were listened to, um, and yeah, I honestly think that we played a major role in this for sure. He applauds prosecutor Chris Becker's decision and sees it as a necessary step towards change with policing in the community. It's a good first step, but that sentence and conviction still needs to happen. We're asking for the people who are involved in this court to make sure that their decision for conviction or not is unbiased and just. NAACP Youth Council President Javon Fields hoping the case will help eliminate over policing, saying this is not the end, but just the beginning. I continue to apply that pressure on police reform, transparent uh, police reform, and upgrading the community police relations. Sher posted bond earlier this afternoon. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison with the possibility of parole.